Hello, this is Ramiro with Car Haven. Uh, we are a European car specialist here in North Brantford, Connecticut. Uh, we had this guy here come today with an uh, 07 S550 with transmission issues. Uh, he went to the transmission shop um, to see what was happening. The condition, the symptoms are that he, uh, the car goes into limp mode and when he goes to either drive or reverse, there's a low dump in the car like somebody was hitting him in the back, he was saying. So a uh, transmission shop uh, recommended a full transmission rebuild to the tune of $6,000, plus valve body, plus transmission control module, a whole bunch of things ended up being like $12,000. So uh, we see this a lot, you know, not every transmission failure needs a full rebuild. Uh, so we're gonna take it in for, uh, for diagnostics, uh, connect the Mercedes laptop computer. We suspect something related to the conductor plate. This is a 722.9 transmission, which is fantastic. It's a great transmission, long lasting, but it needs service. And it does suffer from some electrical issues in, the, in some modules, especially what is called the VGS or the conductor plate uh, module. So, um, Take a look and let's see what's uh, what's going on. Here's what uh, this looks like or sounds like. Bump. It's like somebody's hitting me in the rear bumper. When I go to change to reverse, same thing. Like uh, the car shakes and there's a very loud bump. Uh, the car goes into limp mode also. Bang. Um, we'll do uh, some diagnostics and we'll see what's going on. This is a 722.9 transmission, which is known for a bad VGS module. That's not the valve body or the transmission, mechanically speaking, those are pretty solid. And this car has low miles, 50, not even 55. So I uh, suspect that conductive uh, plate, it's a VGS module, but we're gonna do some diagnostic, diagnostics, run the computer disentry system or DAS for this model year, and we'll see what we find. And here is where having the right diagnostic tools comes in really handy. We are equipped with a Xentry Mercedes diagnostic system. In this case, we're using a DAS because it's an older vehicle. What we can do here is we can read the codes with the computer showing us uh, sensors in the VGS module. This is not the valve body or the mechanical part of the transmission. It's a transmission control module actually, uh, also called the plate, induction plate. So we're gonna replace that, original Mercedes, code, program, and that should take care of the issue. Okay, so the next step would be to remove the vault body in there to replace the VGS module, which is also known as a conductor plate. So this is a very special part, has to be ordered by VIN, and it's called a TRP or a theft-related part, so not anybody can order that. You gotta get it from the manufacturer, from Mercedes to the dealer, with a whole bunch of steps in there. It comes in a very um, nice kit with all the <coughs> protection against uh, electricity. So we're gonna take that out and replace the module. Oh, it has to be coded and programmed after that. So here we have the old VGS module and the new one here. As you see, it uh, looks the same, but it's a different manufacturer. So it's an updated part because they realized that the old one was not very good. The connectors are different. Let me do a close up in there. Look at that, how they are not connected properly. And then the new ones are a different material, more conductive. The internals are also, uh, the electronics are much better. Okay, so now the conductor plate has been replaced, programmed, coded. Now it's time to test. We went to the DAS system, showing us no events present, no codes. Uh, let's do the road test. So if you remember, I was uh, every time that I was changing to either reverse or drive, the car was thumping really loudly, like a bump, like like somebody was hitting me on the rear uh, bumper. So let's try that out, that now. I'm gonna go to drive. Nothing. And I can move. Carefully, so I don't hit anything else. I'm gonna go to reverse. Nothing. Nice and smooth, and I can move back and forth. So that's. Uh, Good news, try to do it one more time. Excellent. Seems like we took care of it.